Okay, so I thought I was filming this, but I guess the GoPro was set to picture mode and not video mode. So you got my one picture of me just kind of stand there with my hand in front of the camera. So anyways, let me give you an update where we're at now. So remember I was making that, well, I was making that mold. And what I ended up doing was kind of a little bit differently. So I used that piece as a plug to fiberglass over it to take the fiberglass off to make the fiberglass my mold. So then I'll insert the carbon fiber into that, vacuum bag it down, and hopefully get a great product. So this is kind of where we're at now. Let me kind of show you what we're looking at. So this was a piece of wood I spent, you know, a good hour and a half sanding smooth, threw a gel coat on it. I actually I painted it, and I guess the paint didn't really want to adhere to MDF too well. So when I gel coated over it, laid my glass down, and I go to pull the mold off, it left this. So this is our mold where we end up getting off of it. So it's all fiberglassed up and I need to trim it up, cut it back, make it look nice, smooth it. And then I'm gonna spend a lot of work inside where some gel coat worked, other spots it didn't. So I need to take this now, sand it like there's no tomorrow to try to get as smooth as I can. Maybe put some body filler in some spots that are too low and try to make this something good. So that's what I'm gonna be doing is trimming this up, sanding it down, and hopefully getting a great, make this will be a great mold. It's perfect shape, perfect size. I just need to get this good for when I lay the carbon fiber in. It's gonna give it that nice shine, that beautiful carbon fiber look. So that's what we're gonna be doing do is trim this up and get it more manageable before we start actually hitting it. So all we need to do is draw my line about an inch down. I'm going to come from an inch down off the top. And the reason I'm coming an inch down is because that's giving me a quarter inch of play when I lay my carbon fiber in there to trim back. Because my panel needs to be three quarters thick. So with an inch and that extra little quarter of, if I don't bring the carbon up high enough, it gives me a nice area I could come back, trim up, buff it out, make it shine. So first thing we need to do is measure and come off the top an inch.
Now we gotta go through. Sand this real smooth, see how good we get it. If not, if this side just can't get smooth to save my life, then you know what? Just do it again. Make that mold better, try to seal it better, and then pull another. Okay, have you ever heard of uh, the saying, polishing a turd? Well, that does not apply here. Came out a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, I was been sanding at 120, wet sanding. Uh, first was dry and then wet sanding, just to get it nice and smooth. Kind of judging where I was gonna be at with it and it came out a lot better than I thought. So here it is. Smooth as 120 will get it, even in the corners. So what I am finding that I am gonna have to come back, I am gonna have to put in a little um, Bondo body filler, some of these pits that you can't hard to see on the camera and in the corner um, the way it folded the fire glass came together like this and kind of left a bigger hole than I wanted to in the corners but everything else everything else came out really really good and I think this is gonna turn into glass once I get down to 1200 Bondo then 120 320 and then 1200 and they should just turn this into glass and this would be a great service to get some good carbon fiber out <clears throat> now that we let our body fillers set up basically now it's back to wet sanding and trying to get this thing smooth as glass okay we're done so after a long time sanding all the way through the grids we're at 1200 now and it is it came out perfect. So I think this is gonna make a great product. So gotta wait on a couple more supplies to come in maybe in the next day or two and we'll be able to lay down the carbon fiber, vacuum it up and hopefully get a great panel out of it. So let's take a look at the panel. So you can see all the little red dots. There's the divots I had to fill in. I'm happy with it. So, oh, I want to offer anybody who, uh, this comes out really good. If anyone who has an Avid needs a glass panel or fiberglass panel, I have the mold. You want to pay for the supplies? I'll make it for you and you pay for shipping. So I'll do the labor for free. I kind of enjoy this stuff. So if it comes out good. You guys want one, let me know. Thanks.